Hey, what's up, guys? It's Chalon Kwa here once again. Now, you know, a couple people have posted on my videos. And by the way, I read all the comments that are posted on my YouTube channel, you guys. Every single one. I've read every single comment on my YouTube channel. So, you know, a couple people posted, and one person asked me, Tom Jones, he said, you know, don't I get upset about throwing away my 5K MMR? And the truth is, you guys, 5K MMR honestly isn't that impressive, okay? The thing is about 5K is that the journey to 5K, I'd say the journey to 4.8K, a lot of the times you're going to be put with teammates that are equal MMR to you. So most of the time, everyone is going to be the same MMR, okay? And what that means is that if everyone is the same MMR, that means the people that deserve to be at that MMR will win the game, and the people that don't deserve to be at that MMR will lose the game most of the time, okay? But once you get to around 4.8 to 5k plus, okay, and it gets it becomes a really big problem at like 5.5k, okay? Once you get to that MMR, your teammates are all lower than you, okay, in 90% of the games, and the game becomes you being the highest rated player in the game, forced to carry people that are lower MMR than you, alright? That's the entire fucking game at this rating, and it's a fucking joke, okay? This game is so shit, alright? That's not... It's just, like, imagine if you were playing a sport, okay? And let's say there was, like, a ranking system for sports, and you were playing, like, basketball or some shit, alright? And you wanted to become the best basketball player in the fucking world, but the only way to do that is by you playing with maybe one other professional on your team, okay, and then with a bunch of fucking high schoolers on your fucking team, okay? Now, does that make any fucking sense? No, it fucking doesn't, but the problem is Valve makes the game like that so that these fucking shit stain 4.5k fucking shitlord motherfuckers won't fucking quit the game because they're not being fucking carried by people that are better than them because they happen to spend hundreds of fucking dollars on fucking dog shit fucking cosmetics, okay? If you guys haven't seen my matchmaking exposed video, go watch that video because I'll tell you right now, if this game was the way it was, it's supposed to be, okay? If Every, if I was 5k MMR and I was matched with other 5k MMRs, and if there was people at 6k MMR that were only matched with people at 6k MMR, yeah, there would be long queue times, but I guarantee you that's what everyone at that fucking rating wants, okay? If that was the case, people would be quitting this game because people would realize that they fucking suck dick, okay? And that the only reason why they get to 4.5k is because they're picking support and then they get carried by the people that are actually trying to win, okay? So, someone asked me to analyze one of my games, alright? And he wanted like a serious analysis, okay? And I'm going to show you the series of events that led up to my newfound path, okay, so from now on for Chalon Kwa, I think I'm just gonna grief every single fucking game, you guys, maybe I'll make a new account to play seriously, but honestly, I've come to the realization that there's no point in trying to grind higher than 5k MMR because of what I just said, if Valve comes out with a fucking patch, alright, that says, okay, you will always be playing with people that are at your MMR, and if you want to climb MMR, you have to beat those people. Not by beating 4.5k shitters with a fucking 6k MMR on their team, by beating people at your fucking rating, okay? Just like people at 2k, just like people at 3k, just like people at 4k have to do, alright, you guys? So, and this is a series of events that led up to that, okay? So I have my Storm Spirit game, okay? I fucking shit fuck these kids back into the fucking Stone Age, okay? I fucking molested this fucking dog shit fucking Lena in the fucking mid lane, okay? 19 and 4, alright? I put the whole team on my fucking back. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys this game later, because I'm gonna analyze it, because someone wanted me to make a serious analysis video. And then I have this Axe game, okay? 
Well, this is a game I showed in my video. I had this dog shit. Randoms OD feeds the fucking game. Now, it may look like I have 15 deaths, you guys, but first of all, most of those deaths were in, like, the last five minutes of the game where they were just fountain diving us and we were just fucking around, okay? So, that's not actually representative of how I did during the match, okay? Because literally, actually, you know, I'll just show you guys really quick. I'll just show you guys really quick how fucking hopeless this fucking game was, okay? I don't need to make excuses. I'm just gonna fucking show you guys. There's really... And you saw that Meepo had a decent score too, but... The only reason any of those fucking kids were able to come back to that point is because Chalong Hua is the best Dota 2 player the world's ever fucking seen, okay? So I'm gonna put this shit in free fucking camera, alright? You guys can already see two minutes in the goddamn fucking game, okay? Two minutes in the fucking game, and our fucking dog shit Meepo is 0-1. I'm 0-1. I don't remember how I died. Their OD is 0-1, and, and their Morphling's 0-1. And, and actually, I do remember how I died, okay? It's because I was fucking raping this dog shit fucking Ember Spirit so fucking hard, okay? But their fucking Earth Spirit is so fed, he's already got fucking everything... Okay, he's got fucking boots and fucking teepees in and fucking ganks me, even though I'm fucking raping this fucking dog shit fucking Ember Spirit, okay? And then their fucking Earth Spirit teepees in and fucking kills me because he's fed, okay? Because he has first blood, he has a fucking boots and orb of venom, okay? That's his third fucking kill because my team fed him, alright? So, you know, let me just skip another couple minutes, alright? At this point, I got a kill, okay? I, I probably killed Ember, I think. So at this point, I have a kill. Our Meepo is 0-2, okay? Our 5.5k Meepo that's supposed to be carrying everybody is 0-2, okay? So you may have saw that Meepo score, all right? You may have saw at the score the scoreboard that he's 13 and 10, you know? He's putting in work. No, it's fucking Chalong Hua that's keeping this dog shit Meepo in the fucking game. 0-2, 0-2 fucking OD, 0-2 fucking Morphling. Let's skip another couple minutes. I got another kill. I'm carrying this entire fucking team, okay? 0-4 OD, 0-3 Morphling, 0-3 Meepo. They're all fucking feeding you guys. Skip another couple minutes. Okay, I just skipped like two minutes. 0-3 Meepo, 0-5 OD, 0-3 Morphling. And yeah, I may have died a couple times myself, you guys. But, uh... You know, that's just because their whole team is fucking fed, you know? Their whole fucking team is fucking fed, okay? There's nothing you can fucking do about it. Like, I can't be expected to roll over a fucking 4 and 0 spirit breaker that has fucking treads, urn, and fucking 1600 gold. I'm just a fucking axe, okay? I mean, for crying out loud, there's a fucking 0 5 OD on my fucking team, okay? So I skipped even more, alright? At this point, I'm 5 and 7, you know? Meepo's starting to get some kills, but are just dog shit OD, 0 and fucking 7, 0 and 4 fucking Morphling. So, you know, at that point, that's when I made that video, and I realized that there's no fucking point to playing this fucking game, okay? The dog shit OD and the dog shit Morphling who randomed their fucking heroes were 4.5k, alright? Next game, okay? Next fucking game you guys 0 and 16 dazzle 1 and 13 axe okay you know i might as well even just fucking download this replay this is where i knew okay this is where i fucking knew that every single goddamn fucking game challenge claw plays from now on is gonna fucking ruin the goddamn fucking game for my fucking teammates okay and you know, I actually, I was gonna do that, okay? I was actually gonna throw this game, alright? Before the game even started, okay? Before the game even fucking started, I was gonna throw the game, but this dog shit troll warlord, okay? This dog shit fucking troll warlord was 59.50 MMR, okay? He was two wins from 6k MMR, and you know what? I don't know why, but I decided I was going to help this fucking shit-stained fucking troll warlord get his fucking 6k, okay? Because honestly, you know, it's fucking 6k MMR. You know, I can pro I can pause my griefing for one- And I fucking won again. I can pause my griefing for one game, but then this dog shit fucking troll warlord, you guys. 6k fucking troll, okay? 
6K fucking troll fucking warlord and this dog shit 4.5K fucking dazzle. Like, honestly, you guys, how, how am I supposed to react to this, okay? I'm sitting here thinking that I'm gonna fucking rape these fucking dog shit fucking kids with fucking Earth Spirit to help this kid get his fucking 6K MMR, okay? And then he does that fucking dog shit, okay? And then skip a couple minutes, okay? I just skipped a couple fucking minutes, all right? Chalon Qua, two and zero, but look at my dog shit fucking team, okay? Our fucking dog shit Dazzle is 0-2, our dog shit Axe is 0-1, our dog shit Trolls 0-1, okay? Let me skip another couple minutes, okay? Chalon Qua is 3-0, and but our dog shit Dazzle is 0-3, our dog shit Axe is 0-3, okay? Skip another couple minutes. Chalon Qua is 7 and fucking 1, you guys. Literally, the only person on my fucking team team doing fucking anything okay i have a day gone and i'm fucking raping the whole fucking team but our fucking dazzle is oh and six you guys our axe is oh and five and this dog shit 6k troll warlord is one and fucking three okay at this point i'm 10 and three okay yeah i died a couple times but honestly our dazzle is oh and ten our axe is own seven. I'm just a fucking earth spirit, you guys. I can't kill a fucking level 16 necrophos that has 11 kills, okay? I can't kill a fucking co-op that has a fucking Yule's fucking scepter, alright? And I fucking destroyed this fucking dog shit fucking 4k shitlord fucking slark, okay? And at this point, it's just fucking hopeless. Own 13, 1 and 9. Everyone's just fucking feeding, so... You know... That's when I fucking realized, okay... And actually, there was that Techies game. I don't remember what happened in this Techies game. Actually, now I remember what happened in that Techies game. Okay, so, you know, Chalon Hua, best Dota 2 player in the fucking world. I'm going to make a video for the Storm Spirit game. I'm going to put it as a separate video. All right, so, you know, from now on, Chalon Hua is just going to fucking throw games. And let me know if you guys like those one-minute videos, okay? Because I personally enjoy making those videos. I think it's funny. All right, so... You know, these guys don't deserve to be at the ratings, so Chalon Claw is just gonna fucking ruin their fucking game, you guys. Chalon Claw's always been about ruining games, alright? Maybe in a more subtle matter, okay, or in a more subtle way. But deep down, Chalon Claw has always been about throwing games, alright? I'm sick of being a fucking tryhard to try to get fucking higher MMR by carrying my fucking dog shit fucking teammates, okay? Maybe when the new patch comes out in a couple weeks. You know, I'll see what the fuck that's all about. But honestly, you know, this game is just a steaming pile of shit. And unless there's some serious fucking changes, you guys, I'm just going to ruin this fucking game. So, Chalon Qua, signing out.